Hey y'all, Kabadega Boy here with another dip video for y'all tonight. Um, I just now looked at my sub count and I'm at 40 subscribers. Thank you all so much for helping me reach 40 subscribers. And if you're new here, thank you for subscribing. You are now a part of the Copenhagen Army. Um, I'm not sure if anybody just came up with that name, but I'm I'm trying to think of some nicknames for y'all. Copenhagen Army. Copenhagen Militia or something like that. Um, leave comments down below of what y'all's nickname wants to be. Um, I want it to be Copenhagen something to um, give y'all a proper nickname. And um, so y'all know that I'm talking to all y'all in general. Which y'all already know that because I say y'all about 20 different times in the video. But yeah, before I get deep into the video, as I always say, I'm going to go ahead and pack Neil up. So, yeah. And I still have a cut on my finger. And it sucks. I'm just waiting for it to heal. So I do this. But um, earlier today, I made a video with Coke Dipper and Black Dipper 796, but I don't know what it was. Something must be wrong with YouTube because it did not let me upload. And I tried re-uploading it three, three different times. <laughs> and it would not let me upload. Hopefully I can upload this video, but, um, we were talking about how I almost got pulled over because Coke Dipper told me to hit it because there was some hot chick. He was like, hit it for the chick, hit it for her. She's fine. And I was like, okay. And then I hit it. A cop hops back in his car and I don't notice the cop until the last second. And then I'm like, oh my God, I am about to get pulled over. And, um, all I did was sit behind this and ran, ran my tag, I could tell. But for a minute, I was shitting a brick. I was like, oh my god, I'm about to get pulled over and this is gonna suck. And, um, so I nearly get pulled over because they hear my engine go from, in the damn car so my engine high throttles and um because <clears throat> i'm at a low speed and then whenever i punch it it just takes the throttle and the throttle just goes all the way up to seven rpms which is about well the max in a in the car that i drive is um it says seven on it and um it went all the way up to seven and the cop hops in this car and just follows us and I'm trying to take someone home and then I'm like, man, if I get pulled over, this is going to be the worst night of my life. Because I've never been pulled over. Don't plan on it. But I was trying my luck the other night. <coughs> but, um... I didn't really do anything that exciting this weekend. All I really did was work, work, work. All it was was yard work out the ass. And uh, it wasn't even my yard. If I do yard work on my yard, oh no, it's going to take me a full week to get done with yard work around my house. Because I'd have to go over 22 acres. But then again, I would only go through the acres around my house. But I helped Coke Dipper out with his yard work. And then I helped out our buddy Big Ounce with his yard work. And Black Dipper and Coke Dipper were with me the entire weekend. 
Um, I didn't get my truck back until the other night, late at night, like maybe three. Um, whenever they spend the night with me, um, they take up everything and then I just sleep on the floor because they like to take up, well, like Dipper, I let them have the bed and then I gotta get on the couch and Cup Dipper just steals it from me and I'm like, alright, screw it, I'll sleep on the floor again. Doesn't bother me, I've slept on the floor before. And my floor is hard tiles. Like, it's basically, like, listen. That's what it is. It's, like, just hard as hell. And I can, I can literally sleep anywhere if I'm really tired. <laughs> and last night we were going to go riding around, around 1.30, but we never did because we all fell asleep. And, um, I just got done watching some YouTube videos, um, there's one in general I'd like to talk about because this dude's friend's bike actually got stolen, and it's horrible that people even steal bikes from people, but this dude caught, the dude's friend caught the guy in a cul-de-sac and just kicks the dude off the bike, and, um, And, um, it was just instant karma, because the dude found him after 20 minutes of riding. Which I found this off of another moto vlogger. Um, every now and then I'll see something that intrigues my interest. Because I'm the type of person that likes to watch instant karma videos, like people who pick a, pick a fight with the wrong person. And it's pretty funny to watch. Um, but yeah. All of this weekend I really just did yard work out the ass. And my only free, well, I didn't even have a free day today. Well, I had a free day Friday because... I was supposed to hang out with a girl, but she caught it off, but I didn't really care, to be honest. Who put a bag of Doritos in my shoes? It's not cool. I need those for my uniform, dickheads. Um, but... Yeah, um... And the only free day I really had was Friday. Friday afternoon and Friday night and Saturday night. The only time I had free night, free day, free, free parts of the week, weekend mainly. During the day I was work, work, work. And it was just mainly that was it. All I did was work. But it was to help friends out. Um, I do as much as I can to help people out. And stuff. And um, we were supposed to haul off some wood from Big Ounce's girlfriend's house. Which was where we were doing yard work at. Because he wanted me to come and help him with it. And Cook Dipper came along. And Black Dipper also came along. And um... <laughs> and um Way to ruin my video, Austin. Dickhead. Nah. My brother just came to get some ice and some dog food. Or something like that. I don't even know what the fuck he picked up. But, um. 
Yeah, um... But, um, yeah, um, I actually did something this afternoon. And, um, I stopped by somewhere that was very, it was a very precious place for me, um, it was, uh, um, it was a wooden plaque in memory of my cousin Morgan, um, she was, uh, ran over and killed at, um, a young age, um, she's like four years older than me, so... <clears throat> um, and, um, she was killed, she was ran over and killed by her dad by accident, and, um, it's been a while since I visited that plaque, and, um, it's over in a elementary school, and, um, me and Coke Dipper were riding through, and I was talking about how I could go see my grandparents, like, not like my actual grandparents, my aunt, my aunt and my uncle. And they live like three or four, maybe five minutes away from the plot. And um, whenever I saw the school, um, it reminded me of whenever I was driven there and was there for the balloon release on our birthday. This year I couldn't make it, um, which really bummed me out. But I came back today to go visit that plaque, and um, Coke Dipper was with me, and I got him to get out of the truck. He was asking me why, and I was like, just come with me. I got something to show you. And I was like, this is my cousin's memory plaque. That would be Austin. But, um... <coughs> We lost her in 2002. She was six years old, and I was two. And, um, I think we lost, yeah, I don't even think I ever even got to meet her to be honest, and um, it really sucks, and um, I just wish she had more time on the earth, but the good die young, as many people say, um, I'm not saying that all good people die young. I'm a really good person, but I haven't died yet. But I'm surprised I'm not dead yet, to be honest. But um, I visit that plaque today and started thinking of her because it really upset me. But um, yeah, y'all, no matter what y'all are doing, 24-7, always pack a lip or a cheek. I'll catch you on the next video.